hi there uh, last time i was not able to show you uh, how to find a custom variable when a particular button is pressed uh, on the aircraft cockpit uh, because pad next was crashing i think that was a, a moment i mean that was a transient issue so i restarted pad next uh, and it seems to be working now after i restarted the flight sim also uh so here we have the you know uh, we have the uh fly by wire a320 nx uh, uh on the ground but engines are started so that we get uh, more events uh, so that more events can be captured by spad next and uh, more variables which are changing uh, can be monitored by spad next uh, so basically we are trying to see what are the uh, custom variables that are dynamically changing so here we have the aircraft with the engines running uh, so what we have to do in spad next we have to go to this add ons tab and then on on the left hand side we have to click on data monitor and on the right hand side we have to click on this add lvar button okay uh so there will be uh, basically two boxes here uh, the lower box will be the events uh, will be a log of the events which are changing so if even if there is one event which are, which is changing that's a 10 times so it will be logged 10 times in this uh, lower box in the upper box uh, it will only show uh, each event uh, once but it will show you things like how many how many times the event has changed uh, what is the last change time what was the last value that was changed also if you don't want to monitor that event you can actually you know uh, remove that event by pressing this uh, this particular uh, button or whatever uh, it is there uh, Okay, so let's go back to the aircraft and see what are the uh, what are the values, uh, custom values that are that the fly-by-wire A320neo is generating, and those changed values, what are what is being monitored by SPAD next. So let's here we see uh, that the aircraft is changing uh, custom variables, and that is being logged by. Uh, spad next so uh, trying to find out the variable which is being changed by one button press in this in this huge number of variable changes might be an intimidating task so what spad next gives us the facility uh, the spad next gives us the facility to actually you know uh, remove certain events uh, which we don't want to uh, remove some uh, variable changes which we don't want to monitor okay so what we here want to do is i mean we want to see all the variables being changed uh, that are uh, that are dynamically changing even without the button that we intend to press even without uh, pressing the button that we intend to press we want to remove all the variables that are changing because we are not interested in those events okay only when we press the button that we intend to press we want to monitor that event so now we'll not press that button the button in question is the captain side ls landing system button so we are not going to press it now and we are uh, going to see uh, uh, which uh, variables are dynamically changing and remove them by pressing here okay so what we want to do is sort by the uh, last change time so this will sort the events which have their values changed most recently okay so okay so we'll go back to the aircraft and then we'll remove all the most recently changed variables uh, so all these events 
all these events which are dynamically changing so mostly they will the last change will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 meaning the change they are changing just right now This one seems to have changed two seconds ago or two minutes ago. So let's leave this one. Uh, this guy, 17 seconds. This is again zero seconds. Remove this guy. Remove this one. Anything with a with six zeros, leading six zeros, we can remove. 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 Uh, this one remove, 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 remove. This one also remove. Okay, now let's see if there are any events being dynamically generated. No. Okay, now let us try to press this. Okay, some events are still being generated. This is pneumatic pack. Pneumatic pack one flow. This one remove pneumatic pack to flow pneumatic pack to flow valve flow rate remove and the electric pack one current electric that one current remove electric pack one potential remove okay now let us try to press our intended. button whose variable change we want to i mean on pressing that button what is the variable that is changed we want to monitor that so le let us press this ls but so here we see that uh, the variable which has changed is button ls1 filter active okay. now let us remove all this here you ox right we you ox right we left we also remove uh, remove left we remove clear anything else so this one. so as we can see that the variable which is changing on pressing this captain side ls button is btn underscore ls underscore one underscore filter underscore active. Let us try a few more times. So this is the variable that we want to change on. Okay, what is this? probably we had in the last uh, last video configured uh, one of the soft buttons for captain side ls so it should be the same uh, same uh, variable change see same variable change We had actually configured this btn underscore ls underscore one filter active. Okay, uh, so here is our MIDI device, and what is the button? This is the button, and uh, edit event. Okay, see the same button. Btn ls one filter active. So even so, even if we did not know. what what is the uh, variable name uh, we can actually find it out by uh, we can actually find out what is the variable that we want to change on a particular soft button uh, press on the loop deck live so the uh, particular uh, variable that we uh, want to change 
in the simulator would be found out by doing this data monitoring and filtering out whatever variables that we are not interested in which will be the ones which are dynamically changing and then when we see that none of the uh, we are not populating any variables then we go back to the sim and okay so it's pneumatic so there's some some more variables are changing so this pneumatic pre-cooler remove transfer temperature remove So when we have removed all the dynamically changing variables, we go back to our simulator, uh, press the intended button on the cockpit, uh, and then we'll see the particular uh, variable which is being changed by the button that we are pressing. So that is the variable that we want to uh, change when pressing uh, when pressing the uh, soft button in our loop deck live. Okay.